This is week one of the Wargaming World Diary, and it's still Christmas, hence the uh, gold uh, on the table and, uh, and the box. And I want to start off with a Christmas present. And uh, the gift I received, which was uh, really nice, and it was two items from uh, Charlie Fox Shop. And it's to add to my uh, little French town and it's a brasserie and a tool shed and uh, I've uh, also uh, got next to it uh, a, make a, a comparison uh, because this is the 20mm uh, and these are 28mm uh, buildings and I'm going to put this together and show you uh, just some thoughts on, uh, uh, on how easy it is to do and how nice the uh, whole building is uh, in completion. The only observation is that uh, in comparison to the uh, Sarissa version, which is all sort of flat packed, etc., uh, this uh, is all separate pieces, and uh, uh, all of that's absolutely uh, fine. It's just a slightly different uh, setup uh, when you first get it. Never had a uh, Charlie Foxtrot uh, product beforehand. Got lots of these uh, particular types of uh, buildings and foreground and things like that. Uh, so I'm uh, very interested to see what it's like when we put it together. Okay, so we've made some good progress uh, with the uh, with the brasserie. So. I uh, take a couple of things off here just to show and um, just made some slight uh, adaptions, putting these things underneath it so it sticks uh, well onto the, uh, onto the building. I should do anyway. So that's been a really a good construction. We've got to obviously do all the, uh, the painting, etc., and put it together. But I'm putting it with uh, this one also. So on this setting, we're going to have two buildings, and uh, I'm going to adapt this building here to uh, produce a, a, a tailor's. So uh, we'll have the, the two together. We've also built the, the shed. I've uh, built two uh, yesterday. Um, now, in order to make it look realistic, I thought I'd add uh, an area where we've got um, things like uh, gutters, etc. So on the, the road that I'm going to uh, produce, it needs a bit spongy, so I can, I can cut this out and make it uh, realistic. So I'm going to add in this uh, street accessories. So we'll, we'll work from there. Now this is a 135 scale, but actually if it was going to be 170 second, we wouldn't even see it. So it'll look useful uh, like that. And then I've uh, brought in uh, the skills of my daughter. Um, she, <laughs> she has uh, now printed off uh, a number of uh, different uh, adverts we're going to put on the side of, uh, of the buildings and uh, also including uh, a very, very small menu here that we can add into the brasserie as well. Right, okay, so uh, let's uh, uh, carry on and make some further progress. Okay, we're making some good progress now with the painting. Um, we're going to have to put the colours on uh, at, the, uh, at the bottom there. But uh, you know, I just wanted to show you uh, this part, which is uh, I quite like the idea of having some, uh, you know, uh, advertisements, etc., as it would be normally on the side of buildings. But with it being war games buildings, you might well think, well, I've got to be able to separate the roof and, and what have you, and. I think it's quite quite simple. Uh, this should look uh, okay, and then just by uh, cutting across the uh, the roof from this particular uh, middle section, it still looks okay. And remember, when we're playing uh, the war game, we're going to be quite some distance as well, and the images are going to be are going to be fine. So just as long as you you do that. Now, how I did that is to uh, stick the two sections together and then uh, put on 
the uh, advert and then cut it across the line. Really fairly simple, very sharp knife to do it. And then I think that looks quite effective. Right, before I uh, carry on uh, with some painting, and there was obviously a lot still to do on uh, the brasserie, uh, just start to think about what the feature will look like uh, in total, and uh, yeah, start to have a look at this road and see what that might look like and what we might add. So, uh, just going to have a look at the accessories and uh, yeah, have a, have a look what the options are. A little bit surely adding uh, additional bits to the, the brasserie itself. Looks really messy the way I've painted that on the top, but I'll, uh, I'll clear that out, I'm sure. I'm starting to add some additional detail to the brasserie. There's a menu here, uh, just at the front. And on the inside, uh, I thought we'd make the, uh, the floor rather palatial. And uh, pictures there on the wall is to uh, yeah, make it a bit special. So I'd add something else as well. So I've built a gutter, uh, 135 scale. I'm going to add it into uh, this particular building. So uh, it should uh, look good once uh, once it's completed. Bits and pieces. Just added a, a second floor uh, with a new um, floor and pictures and things like that in for the uh, for the brasserie. Okay, something else that I've added is uh, a fence here on the uh, the front of the road. So uh, yeah, we're now beginning to really build up with, uh, we'll have the lamp posts uh, rebuilt uh, in a second. And uh, yeah, I'll add the, uh, the guttering again to this particular building. So uh, yeah, it's taking shape. Just make yourself a copy just to uh, take a two minute break and then sat back and realized that actually there's a huge amount of stuff I've now got out uh, to use to build this, uh, what was a quite a simple, building. However, I would say that this is, you know, the hobby. Absolutely fantastic to uh, put this together and uh, I'm also uh, certainly watching and keeping a bit of an eye on a tabletop CP game that's going on in the background. So uh, yeah, you've got the uh, the war games hobby in, uh, you know, in totality. I needed a new uh, gutter and therefore uh, needed a new drain, so we put one in there. Well, I'm very much at the, uh, the final throws of uh, completing this. I added all of the items to the road and added in things like the uh, lamp posts, etc. Added a bit of uh, rust to the, uh, to the gutter, put in uh, the new drain there and uh, yeah, it's been a really, really enjoyable thing to do between Christmas and New Year. So uh, now to put it uh, finally together and see how that uh, goes from the workshop to the tabletop. Just a final note for a couple of other things on this, uh, this model. Um, this staff car, in actual fact, uh, was bought by my uh, parents in the mid 1980s in a uh, visit to uh, to France, and it stayed in a box more or less ever since. Um, so uh, yeah, I just put it put it out uh, in the road there, uh, just to uh, just to show it off really, and uh, just to show that it's uh, France and they have their independence. We have our uh, bit of vandalism on the back uh, here, again, which is a phrase that uh, my father had used on a, a model again in the 1980s that he put out, so I just thought uh, almost for a bit of sentimental value as well I'd uh, put that out on here uh, at the end. So, 
There we go, well, there's the model, and uh, we're off to the tabletop. And finally, there we have it, uh, the brasserie and the tailors uh, in within the uh, the rest of the uh, tabletop here in our uh, battle field and uh, our little French town. Uh, the station at the top here, and then I'll build into uh, yeah, our, a little bit of uh, France 1940. I think it fits particularly well. So there we go. There's the the build from uh, Christmas to New Year. I hope uh, you've enjoyed it. And if you've got any thoughts, any feedback, or uh, anything at all to come back with regards to uh, Wargaming World, then uh, please feel free to uh, come back with your thoughts. If you enjoyed it, if you want to subscribe to uh, the YouTube channel, then uh, please feel free. And uh, look forward to uh, coming back to you with more of the same. Anyway, for uh, uh, from here, I would just like to say uh, to everybody, have a, a great new year and uh, look at uh, some new stuff in uh, 2020.